Hello, and welcome back to Stampin' on the Hill. I'm Deb Kies, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, we have, this is another time for another card sketch. This is the August card sketch. But before we get started, I wanted to also share what I think is going to be exciting news for those of you who are local, at least. Um, starting in September, I'm going to start offering my in-person classes at two different times they're both they're still going to be on the third monday of the month but instead of the only the six to eight time slot i'm also going to offer the same day from three to five so hopefully that will um make it more convenient for some of you to come that would be great and and also in sept starting in september i have um the Christmas card club, we've done it for many years, but uh, that will be starting in September as well, which also will have the, both the two two different time slots as well. Um, be sure to make sure when you RSVP that you are selecting the correct time slot because there are gonna be two in there. Um, okay, so let's get into the card sketch. Let me show you first the sketch. So here it is, and so I've got the card itself, and this uh, this could you could choose for the the striped part, the black and white stripes. You could choose for that to be a layer instead of the actual card front, um, if you chose to. Um, and then this would be the the it almost looks purple, but I think it's blue. Um, this would be the dsp or you could you know make your own dsp by stamping something and then a white a white piece and then your greeting goes here and then i have a little ribbon on it so let's move from there right down to the stamp set that i'm using is called cheerful daisies and i'm going to be using just the outline of the big one and then i'm going to be using the both both uh, the small size ones. So you've got, this is two-step stamping. So you've got an outline and then you've got like the fill-in, like to color it in. And then I'm also using the small in, inside. So, the, and then I'm also using, I wanted to show you this. This is um, the die set that comes with the Something Fancy bundle. You can buy the die set separately as well, but look at all the layering options you have. There's like three different layers here that you could, you know, do your greeting in the smallest layer and then do a mat in the next layer up. Same with these, same with this. And then there's some, these um, littler ones are, it's like to make a hole in the top of the tag, this one is. So you can run that through at the same time. Um, this would put a cute little flower, you know, cut it, cut it out of your tag or, or your, label and this one too can't get it off of there this is a magnet i use um just like a little stem so anyway i wanted to show you that because just in case i usually only show you the the dies themselves in today's project i used the smallest uh, rectangular die and you'll wanna i i used the method of that i showed uh, a couple weeks back maybe um, when I showed the stamp and cut and emboss machine, how I made it smaller. So I'm going to show you because I already pre cut it and stamped it out just to make things go a little bit faster. Um, your friendship means everything. And I stamped it in um, early espresso, the color is. So move this out of the way, show you the rest of the, our products. I'm using a basic white card base. So eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I've got, this is one eighth of an inch smaller than the card front. And so I chose to do that, um, cause I'm gonna stamp on it and I, I don't know, it's fine, but I could have stamped, I guess, on the other one. And then I've got a piece of DSP. This is the other side of that. I'm gonna use this side, I think. I might change my mind later, but this is three and a half by three and a half. And then just a piece of white cardstock, and that's going to go on this layer here, like our our sketch was. Um, 
and the white layer is two and three quarters by four and a half. So let's let's get stamping right away. I'm gonna bring in my stamping piercing mat. Oops, blowing off there. And then um, I'm gonna stamp. Turn it this way, I guess, so I can stamp off a little bit. I'm gonna use this is soft sea foam, so I'm gonna use soft sea foam and my largest daisy and i'm just going to randomly stamp around so i i can kind of see when i pull this in i can kind of see you're only going to see around the edges so that's really all i'm going to stamp is the edges but we'll just and i like to rotate the paper it just seems to i want that corner to have something in it it just seems to um make it look a little bit more unplanned i guess is random so that's going to be it for that and set that one aside and i'm going to bring back in the little white piece and now i'm going to try to open the stamp set first or the ink pad i mean here we go this is petunia pep and i'm going to randomly stamp the outline, I like to do the outlines first and I'm gonna make it so this is, I, I put the outlines on one side and I put the inside on the other side of my block. So I, I use both sides of my blocks. Um, I'm gonna stamp randomly around with the outline first in full strength. And what's this one going to do? I really kind of want one in the middle. Let's flip this over and try again. Nope, no, we're not going to. All right, it'll be fine. So then we're going to, I'm going to ink up the inside now and I'm going to stamp it off each time. So stamp off once and then line this up. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know I'm more of a perfectionist too, usually, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So if you misalign it just a little, see, but it looks, it looks fine. It looks a little more, and I just smeared it. It looks a little more um, finished. That one I forgot to stamp off. That's okay. And I don't know where this one was. I want to say it was like this and stamp off there you can kind of tell by the um the shape of the leaves which way it goes that one's off a bit and let's try that again this one spin it around and around and see where we go and then one more up here. Close enough. All right. So we know my greeting's gonna go and cover up that smudge, right? Because it needs to. All right, so we're done with the petunia pop. Now I'm gonna come back in with the early espresso and the little dot and trying to figure out which way I like the dot. It's a personal preference. There's probably not even a right or wrong way, but I'm just gonna put the dot in all the places that have enough of a center to make it worth putting a dot in. And I feel like I keep pulling the stuff farther and farther away from the camera i apologize for that all right okay enough of that so now all we do is glue it all together so i'm gonna put start with you know what we could do let's do this too while i have it out let's just put a little one on the inside oh, i never even folded my hard base and give it a good score. 
and I can tell I have ink on my fingers. All right, let's open up the petunia pop one more time. And let's do another line image on here. And another inside. There we go. That's probably enough of that. And then we'll throw a center on that one too. Um, my idea is that, at least it was my intent, for these to look kind of like a cone flower. So not a daisy, more like a cone flower. Did you know, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I also have um, access to what they call a color coach. And the color coach gives me, there's there's like three different color combinations for each color. So I referred to the color coach and the color coach told me that soft sea foam and um, so gorgeous grape and petunia pop would all look good together. So that's how I chose my colors this. Now remember, I only gave myself an eighth of an inch, so I'm kind of, if you use the, um, the liquid adhesive, you get a little tiny bit of wiggle room. And let's see, what's this going to look like? Remember, I was going to, you're not going to see much of it. Or do you like this side better? Oh, I think I like the, the circles better. So, a little bit of glue. I don't know if it matters which direction they go. I think I want them to go this way. I don't even know. Can you even tell? So I'm kind of centering this, like centered in the whole card. I realize it's closer this way and there's more room up here. And then we're going to take and glue this one down right over the top. I forgot to put the ribbon on. You know what? Let's let's we'll just make a knot and put the ribbon on with a glue dot. That's what we'll do. Instead of wrapping it all the way around cuz you you can hardly even see it. So then I'm going to grab some dimensionals and my greeting and I'm going to strategically place this over my little smudge. I want to be able to see that one a little bit. There, that'll work. And then, this is a great ribbon saver. This is, um, shoot, what's it called? Iridescent, iridescent striped ribbon. And so if you just take it and make a knot out of it, just like the beginning of a regular shoe, and uh, tying your shoelaces and then just pull it so that it does what you want it to do and then you grab the ribbon scissors and cut and then i'm gonna grab a i don't really want it on with that um, I had glue dots out here. All right, can't find them. We'll go with this version of glue dots. So these are on a roll. And I like to pick it up with the ribbon, pull it off. That way it doesn't stick all over your fingers. And let's just stick it here instead of around. That's kind of cute. All right, clear off the space. You can see that one. And then, again, using the color coach, I made a couple other combinations. So this one uses Granny Apple Green, 
garden green and the and the flowers too garden green um and poppy parade and i use that same ribbon here I, the folder that i used for this one is exposed brick and i used the something fancy die i showed you that one it was in there and so my other card I had, I was trying to use, I, I had done this background on here and I was going to use it for something else. And then I didn't like what I was using it for. So I thought, well, I got to use it for something. So this is, um, oops, I gotta look at my cheat sheet. That's on the back up here, actually. Um, pretty Peacock, Poppy Parade, and Basic Beige. Those are the colors in that combination. Uh, the folder that I used here is called Layered Florals, and I used linen thread. This is the deckled circles. Yeah, so anyway, those are my projects that I used for the sketch, and you'll notice that they don't exactly match, and that's okay to not match. But I hope you enjoyed them anyway. I hope that you'll give the sketch a try. You know that with a sketch, it um, it's just kind of a basic layout and you can do whatever you want with it. You, you could have used, I know the sketch has a circle on there for a greeting, but I only used a circle once in my three cards. I used three different shapes. So, um, and you'll know that I used the, um, that method I showed with the stamp and cut and emboss machine to make this greeting smaller to fit the greeting rather than have it have too much space on the side. So if you hadn't seen that one yet, go back and check it out because that's kind of cool. I'll be doing another one probably where I show you how to make it even bigger. But for now, you got the short version and maybe you'll figure it out for yourself how to make it a little bigger. Anyhow. Um, don't forget the two, two new times for in-person classes. I hope to see you and until next time, thanks for watching.